Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. When we last left off, well, we explored the new area after being thrown down a elevator shaft by our friend Adler, which was pretty unfriendly, let's be fair. Now, what we need to do here is go down. Down, down, deeper and down. And funny enough, we can actually use this kind of to our advantage because we need to go back to the Aradorm. Now, we're going to go back to the Aradorm so we can grab some shotgun shells that we missed before. But we need to go find ourselves a fuse. You know, the fuse that we were supposed to get in the last video, but I forgot about because I'm stupid. But that's okay. We can't all be brain geniuses now, can we? So, let's work on that. We need to go back to that bloody room that we dropped down. And then we can go do the fuse puzzle. Because we like doing puzzles, don't we? And this game has lots of puzzles. Do you want to know the good thing about the puzzles in this game? Generally speaking, they're really good. They're really good. It's one of the few games that actually nails um, getting puzzles right. I genuinely believe. Ooh, run! Remember your training and you will make it through alive. Or something. Alright, cool. We can go grab these shotgun shells now. Which we sorely missed first time we got here. Ah, right. Yes, because we dropped down into this room, didn't we? And we couldn't... get what we wanted. Now this is interesting, because she's kind of stuck, which is curious. Not sure why she's stuck, but I'm pretty sure... Ah, the dining room's where we need to go. I think the dining room's where we need to go. Starting to kind of question... Ah, right, yes, this is what... We meant to come back here. Right. And this is a target-rich environment. Which... Uh, I mean, we've got loads of bullets, so we should comfortably be able to take these two out. We've got like 70 handgun bullets, so you know what, fuck you guys. Can we not pick that up? I guess we can't pick that up. Kizeth awaits liberation. Apparently. Right, let's grab the fuse. And we have some information here. Protector uh, accommodations management. Service Kadir. So that's our unit. High voltage fuse. Your order for this replacement part has been approved and was processed by S23 management. Please find enclosed the requested part for installation. Folk has specifically requested that the repair of the looping lift system be prioritized over other repairs. Please replace the fuse as soon as possible. It is a huge hassle for everyone to get around without it. Okay. I shall do my best to replace the fuse. Is that all that's in here? Huh. Kind of thought there was more gubbins in here than that. Okay. It definitely looked like there was more stuff in here than that, but whatever. Alright, six rounds left. We've got our shotgun shells. Didn't we have more shotgun shells somewhere that we couldn't pick up? Possibly. Ah, that droid has gone back to the location. I don't know why she glitched out and she was like halfway through. Uh, the pattern noser system seems to be powered down. I wonder if there's a way to turn it on. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. But we're not going through there. 
Let's get out of here. We kind of need to go back this way. Oh, we dropped her. Alright. Well, that saved us some... Some... Trouble, I guess. So we're now in there. So we just need to go to the flood overflow hallway. Which we can do. We can certainly do that. That is like a fully bloody armed protector unit there. She will probably crack our skull with very little effort. Just saying. In fact, probably quite handily crack our brain pan. Right, so, let's go. And do this puzzle. Go stick the fuse in. Labbly. So we now have power. And we have capacitors. And we have resistors. So the resistors we need to make... Um, I can't remember what we need to make... I think that needs to be 230 volts and that needs to be 800 volts. So we can flick these switches on and off. The resistors will resist, reducing um, by the value that's labeled there. And capacitors will uh, power the circuit up by, what's, uh, by the value that's there. But uh, lucky for you guys, I've done this before. I swear. There we go. I was going to say, wait a minute. Have they changed it? I hope not. They have not changed it. So, there we go. Oof. Um, thank you. That now turns the system on, which is perfect. We like it when the system is working. Now, what we might want to do... Let's go drop these shotgun shells back. We'll drop a save as well. Seems as we're doing so well. Uh, we don't need those. Wow. Right, okay. So we can only hold eight repair patches. So let's fly around with two. We'll take some bullets out as well. We've got six. Let's take four out with us. Definitely don't want to be caught with our pants down and no ammo. And we'll save it whilst we're here for good measure. Because, you know, we've got to cover all of those bases. So. Let's go back. Now, what we need to do is... Where was the library? Right, there's the looping lift there. We need to go back down to the looping lift. And we should be able to start making some progress. I was going to say, why can't we go down there? If we go down again, seven. Hmm. You know what? Oh, what does that say? Rot front. Hope for the future. Rot front. I guess that's where we're supposed to be making a home to. Kind of makes sense. Apart from the part where we have to die and kill the Empire, which we're going to fail at, I assume. I'm guessing that's what most of this game's about, or the backstory of this game. This evil Empire. Have we ever known in history an Empire to be evil? Of course not. Don't be silly. Evil Empires, what nonsense. Okay, now we can jump on and go down, but we need to go down again. 
Well, wasn't that a pleasant trip? And we can open. Ooh. Okay, before we go through there, let's start exploring, shall we? Now we need the library key. Well, we don't have a library key. Hey, ladies. Hi. Can't go through there. Can't go through here. Can't go through there because it's dark. That's fine. Ooh. This looks interesting. Right. So, are we on Ling, if I remember correctly? There's Rot Front. So, this is the star system. An Ori showing a rotating view of the current relative positions of the inhabited world of the solar system. Okay. That's really cool. That's the briefing room. Oh, we can manipulate this, I guess. Ah, look, we can actually explore all of these. So there's the sun. Bion, home to the Imperial Palace, floating above poisonous clouds. So that's the one that these guys want to destroy. Rot front, the ice moon circling the largest gas giant. Still in the process of... Ah, Kilmer forming. So that's like terraforming, basically. Winter, an ocean world ravaged by war. When I close my eyes, I can hear the sound of the sea. See what I mean? There's a lot going on in her head for a simple android. Uh, Kaizia. The Red Desert. The Imperial Fleet can only hold it for so long before it will be liberated. Okay. Hi, Matt. The home of the new nation's government. So, are we rebels? I guess, but we're rebels that have a authoritarian dictatorship as leaders? Uh, I heard the view of the gas giant's rings in the sky is beautiful. My cat's meowing his head off. Lang, S23. Sir Plensky is here. Okay. Home of the new nation's government. Okay. So that's the solar system that we're in. Can we back out, please? Thank you. Hmm. Now, we don't know how well this war is going, but then the war is kind of in the background. We don't really get much about the war and what's going on. Pick up the shutter. Ah, the shutter gate handle. We need that. We need that for further up. Ah, this is the folk system. Was that? No. It's Mimph. I think it was Mimph. I can't remember what the first boss is called, but it's not... Not this one. Falk. Uh, Operational Command Control Unit Replica. Falcon. Sixth generation high-tech bioresonance command unit. Biomechanical with polythane shell and bullet-resistant armor plating. So, I'm guessing that's the one going around with a shield on the floor above. The Protector something, Commandos, Commander. The head of each Aeon, uh, Aeon Facilities Protector Force is a powerful prototype bio... Ah, they're prototypes. Bioresident Folk Unit. An authority that may never be questioned. A Folk Unit serves not just as a commander to the Protectors, but as a nearly godlike being. A perception that is underlined by her tall build and resemblance to our nation's leaders, the great revolutionary and her daughter. It is also aided by 
her powerful prototype bio residence module, which not only allows her to blend or oh, to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Ah. So she has like telekinesis, basically. That's not fun. Oh. And there, I guess, she is. A heavy box fashioned to look like an owl. There's small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Right, so I guess we need to find the correct frequency to dial in. Oh, we've got two of those bad boys. So she's not very well, apparently. But she does have lots of supplies for us, which is nice. Okay, so these these guys are trying to create some kind of superhuman interesting box diary. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I don't want to live anymore. As what have I become? The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touched me, poisoned me. Feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore. But I'm not fully, but I've not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here between her and me with half-formed dreams and recollections, recollections penetrating my brain and tormenting my every action. Who is she? Who is that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? That white-haired girl. Well, we're not white-haired and neither is the person we're looking for. So... Ooh. Are we going to have to fight her? Possibly. I swear this controller is still messing up. It's just really annoying. I wonder if Steam's kind of opened up again in the background. Like, buttons are not doing what buttons should be doing. It's really irritating. Okay, let's get out of here. Can we read this note? Ah, we can. Ah. That's Mina. And Adler. So she's the one we killed. Replica Known Issues, Part 3. Classified information, Commander's Eyes Only. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stems from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. This neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep um, miners happy. Ah. They get along well with most other models, thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Huh. Small stuffed animals may not be given as fetish objects through those resembling cats uh, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing gestalt memories wait a minute so are these model these replicas do they have were they originally gestalt humans brain scans that have been mass produced into robotic forms and I guess it's saying here that they have to each one has certain requirements that needs to be kept stable okay that's interesting I need to do some reading on this game I really do that's interesting 
Adler units work best when left alone. They do not mix well with their own type. They will usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresident suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need, a new, fe uh, may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. So they need toys to play with, basically. That's so interesting. I mean, we still don't know why these guys are going crazy. But that's fine. Anyway, so we can go to the east hallway now. Maybe. Okay. So we actually kind of can't. Right, well, we can go further down. But I guess... I guess 8 is as far down as we can go. Alright, that makes sense. So we've got the rolling shutter gate over here that we can now open, I guess. There we go. Shutter gate handle. Oh, it's another save room. Well, ain't that a kawinky dink? There's the owl key. Picked up the owl key. Alright. And we've got some more notes. Ah, this is the uh, Yule. I like the way we're getting all these this information on the different units. Simple universal light replica. Owl. Generation 4 low cost general purpose. Framed biomechanical with polyurethane shell. So... Uh, these units are the backbone of the Eurasian uh, nation's workforce. These elegant multi-purpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking, and simple medical and office work. Eels are highly social and get along well with each other, as well as most other replica models. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited so do these replicas need to eat or anything I'm not sure they really have created a fascinating world with this game um, you know it really is fascinating let's drop the ammo back I, uh, I kind of want to keep a stun rod on us just in case but at the same time um, oh look, this is the piano room. This is the, um, this is their dorm. And there's the star dorm next door. Right, okay, so this is the rolling shutter. Right, that's interesting. Very interesting because I just assumed that this was going to lead upstairs for some reason. Or to something else. I didn't realise it was just going to be a singular room. Anyway guys, I'm going to save it there. And uh, I'm really enjoying this guys. This game is absolutely fantastic. Um, I want more of this. I would like to see some more games based in this world. Maybe we could focus on, I don't know, maybe the war that's going on, maybe the world. I mean, I don't think we're going to get it because I, I get the feeling this is probably going to be a one and done story. But ah, oh, they're so they've created so much here. What a wonderful game. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.